If you have a new person coming on board, brand new biomed, don't know what to get them for tools, trying to save some money, I get you. Because we're going to cover that coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Have you got a new guy coming on board and you just don't know what to get him for tools? You probably don't want to spend a huge amount of money and you probably also don't want to make your senior technicians jealous because of politics. I get it. But here's a list of simple tools. They're easy to get. And I chose one store. It, it's a store that's going to be all over the place. And these tools, although they're professional quality, I didn't stick to any particular name brand. And the only thing I stuck to is the same store because it's way easier to do a will call for these tools. This is one comprehensive list of pretty much everything that you need to get for an entry level technician. So let's take a look. First off, you know, these entry level technicians, they got to have a screwdriver set. Bam. So this is the DeWalt 10 piece screwdriver set. Some of the things I really like about these screwdrivers is they have a rubberized handles. They do have hardened tips. And remember guys, screwdrivers are also kind of a consumable. They last a long, long time, but you are going to wear out screwdrivers over the course of your career. So you don't want to spend a huge amount of money, especially for a junior biomed. You don't know how they are with their tools, how responsible they are at putting them back where they found them, etc. So these screwdrivers right here, one of the coolest features about these screwdrivers, not just the rubberized textured grips, but the end caps. The end caps are colored to dictate whether or not it's going to be a flat head or a Phillips screwdriver. You can instantly look at the caps and know, based on the diameter of the handle and the color of the cap, what screwdriver it is you're grabbing. Is it a number two? Is it a number one? Is it a number zero Phillips? And this 10-piece screwdriver set, it comes with everything. You've got your stubbies. You've got your fine, like number zero Phillips and uh, number zero flat blade. And it goes all the way up to your elongated flat blade and your really long number two Phillips. So these are an excellent screwdriver set. And I personally have them. I have them here in my shop and I beat the hell out of them. So I tell you what, I know these tools. Every single one of these tools on this list are ones that I've seen, I've felt, I've used. And a lot of them I even own. So that's the DeWalt. 10 piece screwdriver set. What an excellent deal, guys. This screwdriver set is $22.97 right now at the Home Depot. The next one, oh uh, my gosh, you guys. I, I highly suggest that people get a precision screwdriver set. If you're going to be taking apart electronics, especially medical grade electronics, you should be using a very good set of precision screwdrivers. And when I see this steal of a deal, at the Home Depot for a 10 piece Milwaukee precision screwdriver set. I said, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. And look at that. This precision screwdriver set is $29.97. It has everything. It's, you've got your Phillips, you've got your flat blade, you've got your Torx, you've got all the way from T6 all the way to 10, T10, and, no, T15. It goes all the way up to T15. This is a very nice precision screwdriver set because you got your number zero Phillips and you've got your double O, double o uh, Phillips, which are the hardest ones to get. If you're taking part, say a hand control or something, these are the screwdrivers to be using. And, you know, they got the rubberized textured grip. They got the spinny cap on the end so that you could actually put a little bit of torque on there while you're putting some down pressure. What a nice set. And as soon as I seen it, guys, I just knew that I had to have it myself. I highly recommend entry level technicians to get the screwdriver set because it's probably going to be the last precision screwdriver set you'll ever need the whole rest of your career. What an excellent deal. 29 bucks. The next one on our list is the Milwaukee electricians plier set. It's a five piece plier set. And let me tell you something, guys, I did not just stick to Milwaukee tools for a reason. I got all sorts of brands of tools in here, but Milwaukee tools, I have to admit the quality is up there for the price. So because of that, I have felt these tools, I own these tools, like I said, and these are wonderful tools. While you might think it's kind of expensive at $89 for a five piece plier set, 
I completely disagree. What a fantastic deal. You get a full size set of uh, needle nose pliers. You've got the full size set of uh, angle cutters. You've got your uh, adjustable pliers. You've got your electrician's pliers with crimp. And you've got this fantastic set of uh, wire strippers. And this is such a great deal, man. $89 for five of these guys. If you guys know really good quality tools, this is the set to have. At $89, you might think it's a little expensive, but guys, these are tools that are gonna last this technician the rest of their career. And you can pass them down. If that technician leaves, you can pass them to the next guy because they're still gonna be in an excellent condition. Take a look at those. What a good deal, 89 bucks. Now, mind you, the overall object of this whole experiment here is to get around $300 or less. That's a complete toolkit. And you see the differences. If you go to somebody like Granger, you'll get a toolkit for four or 500 bucks, but take a look at the quality of tools. You get some Jensen or some quality tool like that. It's garbage. It's garbage. I don't know about you guys, but I'll wear out a Jensen tool or some of those Chinese tools that they sell in those, those completed kits. This is a kit that I'm putting together for $300 and it's got almost everything that you would need to get 90 plus percent of your work done. And I'm telling you right now, some of you guys are going to disagree with me on this, but I'll tell you what, I don't even care because after using a good set of flush cutters, you will have one in your toolkit. And I recommend to have some of these for a junior biomed. This is the Milwaukee angle cutter or flush cutter. It's $13.97 right now at the Home Depot. But let me tell you something. If you have forged steel cutter heads, you will not get the problem that I had with mine. I had a set of Jensen and a set of Crescent brand. And when you are cutting thick conductors, they have a, a tendency of either wearing into the blade angle, or in the case of my uh, Crescent, it popped and it, it pierced my skin right here. And I still have a scar from it years later because you need a good quality set because right here on the blade is the weak point of these pliers. Now, this set right here has got the rubber over molded grips. It's got the single piece forged steel and it's got a spring assist and it's not an exposed spring assist. Guys, most of these pliers have an exposed spring assist, which means back here on the handle, back here between the, the two handle grips, you're gonna have an exposed spring, which could be a pinch hazard. You're, the spring might just booger off one day and now you don't have a spring assist set of pliers. These ones here, have an integrated spring assist. What a fantastic set. And it's also got what looks like a, a tiny little wire cutoff tool in the back of the blades. So I wish I had a set here. I'm gonna buy some of these tomorrow because I personally have seen these and I was very jealous. I wanted to get them, but I couldn't at the time. I can now. $14. You might think that that's expensive, but once you get into doing some precision work, these are your go-to tools. My flush cutters in my tool bag are some of the hardest hit tools and to have a good set like that is absolutely fantastic. $13.97, you might think that's expensive. It is not because those are tools that are gonna wear out considerably faster than other ones. So what's one of the main tools that any biomed will have? We're trying to save some money here. So guys, it's gonna be your multimeter and I don't even need this because you know why? Because I've got the multimeter right here. This is the one that I did a teardown on. This here is the Klein MM700. It is $99.97. In my opinion, that's a fantastic deal. Now there's a couple things on these that I might wanna change, but overall, I dig it just the way it is. It's got a backlight, it's got a selector dial, so it turns on as soon as you flick it over. It boots up in just a couple seconds. I mean, what a excellent tool. And in my teardown, I showed you guys the insides of this device and how it actually is built quite well. Very nice tool. And this guy here at my house, even though I've got thousand dollar multimeters, this is still my go-to tool. It's got a nice rubber over molding, extremely durable. It's got a good kickstand to it because I've had meters where the kickstand just boogers off one day. Um, this has got actually really decent leads. It doesn't have the flute quality silicone based leads. If you want a set of those, go and get them. This meter is completely compatible with Fluke leads. These ones here actually are kind of nice. It's got a triangular pattern on the grip 
so your hand just naturally wants to go in. It's very comfortable to use. Even when you're wearing gloves, which is such an important part for our career field because we are often wearing gloves, or at least you should be. So this multimeter here is $99.97. Those fluke meters out there, I love me some good fluke meters, guys. So don't think I'm going that way. But this Klein meter at $99 is a fantastic deal. That's all there is to it. It's going to save you hundreds of dollars on your entry-level toolkit right there. So let's go to the next tool. Now this one here, some people might also debate with me on whether or not we even need it. I guarantee you do. And for the fact that it takes what triple a batteries and it's compact guys it's the milwaukee pen light it's so compact it's nice and it's only 19 dollars 97 at the home depot i'm telling you what guys i love me some tools and i get really excited talking about these these i handed out for christmas this year i like these flashlights so much i handed them out for christmas and i beat the hell out of these lights and they work they just work so $19.97, that is the model 2105 Milwaukee pen light. And I, I really love that little pen light. It goes with me everywhere. Matter of fact, I might go back and get another one just because in my bag that I take to and from work every single day, I like to keep one in there. And I like to have one in my tool bag that I keep at work. And I don't. I have to take it out and migrate it every single day. I should have bought two. Anyway, how do we hold all these tools? Well, we're trying to save some money here guys and we don't go above and beyond for this type of stuff so we have a husky tool bag take a look at that bad boy oh my gosh now this is a 16th inch version and it's got a rigid line got a nice handle to it external pouches that have zippers such a major plus because guys i use like loctite and stuff stick them on the inside it's got plenty of tool storage on the inner pockets this is the bag to get it thirty nine dollars and ninety seven cents if it gets damaged or whatever, you can throw it away and get another one. But this bag is probably going to last you a lifetime. It's got studs in the handles to help hold it. It's a very well-built bag. I've seen one of these, and if it wasn't for the Milwaukee bag that I use every single day, this is the bag that I would go for. So anyway, guys, this is all in all $315.82 before tax. But for $315, you have a complete tool set for a professional technician. And guys, that's actually a deal. I've got socket sets that cost more than that, okay? So think about it. This is all the tools you need. You have your 10-piece screwdriver set. You have your precision screwdrivers. You have your complete plier set. You have your flush cutters because sometimes you got that detail work. You got your multimeter, the MM700. You got the Husky 16-inch tool bag to hold it all. And your Milwaukee pen light. Ah, uh, you guys probably thought I forgot, didn't you? Nope. Here we go. Hex and Torx. Hex isn't that special, guys. Yes, you got to have really close tolerances, but guess what? This kit right here, bam. It's made by Tekken, and it's got your inch and metric in two complete sets. Very nice. I prefer the square ends instead of the ball ends. Ball ends are more of an advanced technician thing because a lot of people round out fasteners using them. But at $14.55, this is a cool kit. It's the model 25252. Man, I'll tell you what, that's everything that you'll probably need for years. $14. The next set, Torx. We cannot forget the Torx. Although the precision screwdrivers have Torx, you need a full set of Torx because sometimes you need to let a little extra Torx on there. That's why I prefer the L shape. And that's why we have this set right here. Now, these ones, you'll notice that it's got a green texture on them. Not only will that set them aside from your other Allen so you can differentiate them from one and another, but these ones here, actually, that texture grip does have a function. When you're wearing gloves and when your hands are slippery, it works. It works good. Now, this set there seems to be very durable. I use them myself, and $11.99, that's a pretty good kit. You can't really argue with that. They flip out so that you can get more access to the wrenches behind it, and, you know, it's everything that you need. These ones here go from T10, I believe, all the way up to T50. T50, because you never know. Some things do use some rather large Torx heads. But it's a nine-piece extra-long Torx set, and it's got the texture grip. 
12 bucks guys you really can't go wrong with that what can i say but anyway guys that's all i have for you this is the entry level beginner technician tool set although these are all the tools that you'll need for most of your career to get a majority of the jobs completed so it's up to you and with these tools here that brings our total up to about 350 dollars which in my opinion is a pretty good deal considering it's all inclusive and a fluke multimeter will, will cost you more than that to begin with anyway thanks again for watching guys i hope you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up down below because it really helps youtube figure out that i'm doing something right and you guys appreciate my videos thank you very much for watching once again